Friends and family members of the victims gunned down at the University of Alabama Huntsville are lashing out this morning at school officials. They want to know why they didn't know about the suspect, Professor Amy Bishop's violent past. In 1986, she shot and killed her brother, which was ruled an accident, but the police report is missing. And in 1993, Bishop and her husband were questioned about a failed bombing attempt of a Harvard colleague. No one was ever charged in that case either. Joining us this morning from Huntsville is University President David Williams. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'll ask you the question everyone is asking. Why were these warning signs missed when you hired Amy Bishop? That's a natural concern in light of the terrible events that happened last Friday. Uh, and we have uh, examined the process by which Professor Bishop was hired. Uh, the hiring of faculty uh, occurs hundreds, thousands of times across this nation, and the procedure we used is very similar to that at many of the research universities around the nation. The kind of background check that's done is an academic background check. Uh, in which letters are received from uh, colleagues at other universities. And in Professor Bishop's case, we received letters from uh, colleagues at uh, Harvard University School of Public Health, the University of Massachusetts School of Medicine, and the University of Toronto uh, Department of Medicine. And all of those recommendations were, uh, were favorable towards Dr. Bishop. You mentioned that this procedure is standard at lots of universities, not just yours. They don't do background checks. Do you think now, though, in light of what's happened, that procedure is flawed and should be changed? Uh, well, I'm sure in the light of these events that uh, we, we, as may many other universities, look at the procedures by which we hire faculty. Uh, however, the situation is, is clear that even had we conducted a criminal background check, uh, the events that have come to light recently would not have been revealed. Such a background check was in fact carried out in Huntsville only yesterday and did not reveal the events uh, that have come to light. Exactly, because she didn't have a criminal record. So maybe the lesson here is dig, even, dig even deeper than that when, when looking at a potential employee beyond just the uh, yeah. standard background check. Uh, again, I'm sure we're going to be looking at the procedures. I'd like to ask you about another professor. Uh, there are reports coming out this morning that a woman was incredibly heroic when uh, Professor Bishop opened fire. Can you tell me about her? Uh, you are correct. That's Professor Deb Moriarty. She's a professor in the Biological Sciences Department and also Dean of the Graduate School here. And she was in that meeting uh, as, uh, uh, in her position as a member of the department. Uh, I had talked to Deb immediately after the event and initially she didn't want to talk about it, uh, but I understand that she has now told some of her story. Uh, so uh, uh, I, I can say that she told me similar things uh, some days ago and uh, clearly she was just extraordinary in her reaction to, to the horror in the room uh, and uh, undoubtedly the actions that she took put her own life in serious danger uh, but also saved the lives of others. Yeah, we're hearing reports that she crawled towards Professor Bishop, told her, please stop, don't do this, I can help you. Professor Bishop then allegedly pointed the gun at her and shot, but was out of bullets. So a an unbelievably yeah. heroic story on her part. Can you quickly recap for us how the wounded are doing this morning? Uh, the last I heard, which was yesterday, was that we have still uh, a professor uh, and a staff member in the intensive care unit. Uh, but. Of course, the longer uh, they are in the hospital, uh, the better our hopes are that they will uh, fully recover and return to their families and to the university. And that is our hope as well. David Williams, thank you so much, sir.